Right now they haven't come up with a specific uh, uh, provable cause for CCD, but there are some suspicions. And uh, unfortunately, in my mind, this, this may be more serious than meets the eye because it, uh, it strikes me as canaries in a coal mine type scenario. The colony collapse is one of a series of ailments that have been affecting the bees for a very long time. I let the bees do their thing. They've been doing it for 30 million years. I think they know what they're doing. Uh, a lot of beekeepers are going for maximum production. But I think in that process, we're, we're damaging the bees. We're stressing them out. We're lowering their immune system. We're making them more susceptible to diseases. Homeowners and rural people who use a lot of pesticides on their yards thinking that if they spray their roses for aphids, it's not gonna affect anything. They just want their roses to be beautiful. I totally understand that, and it really does have an effect. When the dandelions show up, you don't spray the dandelions, because that's the first food that the bees will wanna go for. Workers go out into the field, and they go to each flower, let's say, with like their little paintbrush tongue, and they do exactly what the flower needs done. To have people do that is absolutely impossible. An individual bee cannot survive really more than a night. They need the warmth and the food and the whole collective uh, to survive. So if they're out of the colony for a night or so, then that's it, they perish. And the colony really is a complete living organism. And individually, the bees are uh, not much. I mean, they're defenseless. When you first get a swarm out of the, the wild, it's like it feels like you've got a, a new baby or a kitten or something, and you look in there and they're all cozied up in the hive. When you go next to the hive and you can just hear them, and it's like a purring sound. Sometimes in the morning, I, I sit out here with a coffee and just watch the bees. Uh, I've laid down in front on the grass watch them come in and out, uh, observing what they do, and uh, it, it is relaxing, call me. There's some indication that backyard beekeepers may be one of the solutions because there's been so much, so many losses and so many commercial beekeepers going under. What we do is we provide them a home or a body, and so this being inhabits this body. And so then when you, when you relate to it like that, it's like this big, it's a big body, it's not a whole bunch of little insects running around. Kind of a lazy man's hobby. Uh, you only have to work one day a year, so uh, makes it nice. You can do it in your backyard, you only have to have one hive, and it's really so much fun. I normally wouldn't do this to him, but I'll just like, you have to check this out. Mm. Pretty amazing. Mm -hmm.